gonna talk about this one subject, and uh, this is gonna be new for me. But uh, we're gonna make we're gonna have fun with this one. I have it. I bet you have it. And it's called, for lack of a better word, car anxiety. Right? <laughs> so you're you're saying what? What is car anxiety? Well, it's an anxiety feeling of, or the bad feeling of, am I doing the right thing? Should I put a blower on? Should I do cams? Who should I listen to? And what happens? You start feeling weird, you start feeling bad. But wait, I just spent $8,000 on a blower. You mean I didn't need to do that? As an example, I have it. <laughs> Why? I'm anal about my cars. I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there who are also anal about their cars. And it happens to me all the time. On your bill, again, it's about decision making. Did I make the right decision? I don't know. Did. I don't know. But my friend said this. Charlie said you should do this. What should I do? And then what happens? You get anxiety. It starts creaming up. You feel bad. You feel sick. And you're like, again, am I doing the right thing? The other is, when you make a mod, you spend a lot of money on a mod. And guess what? That mod was what you expected. It didn't net you what expected, what you expected. And then you're feeling bad, you're feeling sick. Why? Because I just spent a lot of money on that mod. So, guys, if you have car anxiety, hit me up and uh, let's talk about it. Message me, let's talk about it. This should be a this really should be a live show, but anyways, I was just thinking about this. I have it all the damn time, guys. I pulled a plug on a on a situation. I won't go into in great detail on the last day, only because I felt like the turnout wasn't going to be how I wanted it. It wasn't going to be perfect. I'm the I'm the kind of guy that likes perfection in a car. And if the lines aren't straight, if the paint's not right, or you know, you can see a wave. I don't like it. It bothers me. And it will continue to bother me until I try and fix it. Sometimes it gets worse. And then you go, oh no! What have I done? Yeah. That's car anxiety. So guys, how do you deal with car anxiety? I tell you how. Don't do the mod. Just don't do it right? Don't spend the money. Guess what? Leave it alone. It'll bring you pleasure for years to come. Leave the damn car alone. It's perfect. No. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's not. We gotta make it faster. We gotta make it faster until it fails. And car anxiety kicks in. What have I done? Oh, yeah. I think you guys get it. Anyways, having fun with this build. Yes, decision making is, is a big thing. Uh, I got another one coming up. Great example. Having this work done on these heads. I got extra set of boss heads. Am I stressed about it? Hell yeah. It's a lot of money going into these. Am I doing the right thing? I don't know. Do I want to tear my car down to put other cylinder heads on? Not really. <laughs> Not really. But once you do it, there's no turning back. Because you did it. And you want to get it done. So, Anyways, I think you guys get it. Um, so if you're a car guy, if you love your car, if you like things done right, 
you have car anxiety, at least I do. I do. And I'm sure there's others. Again, did we do the right thing? Did we make the right decision? Why do we have to continue to improve, improve faster, faster? Why? What are we going after? I don't know. The gold? No. We're going after failure. That's what it is. We're going after failure. And if we don't succeed, succeed is failure. Either way, you get car anxiety. Bah! Bah! Anyways, guys. Hey, just having a little fun with that. If you guys feel the same way, hit me up. Let's laugh about this. Um, you know, have some group support. So, guys, like the channel, like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care, guys. We'll see ya.